Hello there. My name is Nenna, and I come from the internet. Everyone knows that. Um, I come from Africa, so you're speaking with an internet citizen from Africa. I'll be very short. I just came to tell stories. Two weeks ago, we finished making a film. The film was about the problems we have with the internet. The film was shot in Burkina Faso and partly in Cote d'Ivoire. So we, it's a whiner's film, right? Oh, we don't have internet. Oh, the internet is very slow. Now the film itself, the AVI version of it is 3.5 gig. You can't upload that. We said, okay, let's make an MP4. It was 289 megabytes. Two, eight, nine, MB. So we have to upload that to YouTube, right? You can't just whine and not whine online. So the filmmaker is trying to upload this film to the internet, and it's not going. She travels from Cote d'Ivoire to Ghana and says, okay, it will be done before Friday, the Easter weekend. But in Ghana, you don't have electricity every day. And so it goes and goes, and in the middle of the day, the electricity goes out. She says, okay, let's try it again tomorrow. And tomorrow it goes out for the whole day. <laughs> and the next, it anyway, the film does not get uploaded in Ghana and it comes back to Cote d'Ivoire. And then she starts uploading it again. She says, okay, it's now at 75%. She had started since midday. It was 6 p.m. in Abidjan. And we says, okay, let's go and have dinner. So by the time we come back, we'll see upload completed. So we start having dinner and the light goes off at 90% and we sit and we cry over dinner. We had tears for dinner because we can't upload 289 megabytes. And so I said, I'm going to give it another shot on a Sunday. This time around, many people would have been off the network and will have a better bandwidth. It took seven hours to upload 289 megabytes of a whiner's film. Good evening again. This is where I come from. So I'm talking about the nightmares and the things that really frustrate people. And you see it online every day. They say the internet is slow in Africa. You can't get things done. You can't do this and you can't. And that is really true. That is the story we live with every day. So when you are sitting at the Hague and you putting stuff for me on Dropbox and you're telling me to upload and download, you are insulting me. Because I want to, but I can't. And that is one of my nightmares. So actually, when I uploaded that video from my house for seven hours, I was actually paying $60 for something that is supposed to be one megabyte per second speed. But you, when I was uploading, it was uploading at 32 kilobytes per second. But I am being charged for one megabyte per second of uplink and downlink. So the thing is, am I getting the value for what I'm paying for in Africa in terms of affordability of the internet? And the answer is no, I don't. Now the one that is really frustrating is, can I complain about it? You pay $100 for one megabyte per second. You're getting about 300, 400. You can't watch a video, it goes buffering all the time. Can you complain about it? The answer in many countries in Africa is no. Nobody will listen to you. And there isn't in many cases an instance where you can go and say, I have a problem with my internet provider and I want it to be sorted out. So quality of service for internet users in Africa, it's not something we can even complain about because there is nobody there to listen to me. Now, that is home. The even bad one, people like Rob who are here, who track illegal activities online, have also blacklisted me. So even the small internet I get, I can't even do PayPal on it because I'm told that, oh, most of my activities are shady. And so what have I done to merit this kind of life? 
I put in a lot of money, I get bad internet access, but I still hold on, and then the international community is telling me my activities are not nice enough to invest in me. I don't have PayPal in many African countries because I'm told they are not very comfortable. My, my internet provider will not trust me. My government will not trust me. And the global internet community will not trust me. And these are the causes of the nightmares for African internet users. Where shall we go from here? Will we say, okay, let's, let's drop it. Let's not worry about it. No, that's why people like me will come here and say, I have a dream. I don't have bandwidth, that is correct. I don't have electricity, that is correct. But I have a dream. I have a dream that with the internet, I can do one or two things. I've asked them to put up an image over there. It's an image of a, a bridge, an old bridge, taken from one of the nice African countries. The internet for us is like a bridge. It connects peoples, it connects cultures, it connects genders, it connects people from all across the world. It connects one civilization to the other. That is the role of the internet. But if you don't have a bridge that allows you to cross, then you may need to use a rope. And there will be one set of people at one end and another set of people at the other end. And you have to climb that rope to get across. It is true that many Africans are using ropes as a bridge on the digital divide, but we will get there. So can I still have a dream? Do you think I can share a dream? Is it possible to dream along with me? Okay, here is my dream. Not just for 2025, as Vincent is asking for. I want my dreams to come along today. I want to have a broadband filled Africa, a place where you can click and it can go. You know, when I take a picture here at The Hague, by the time I step out of the window, the picture has been shared with my other devices. That is so cool, and that is a dream I have for Africa. This morning, I asked people that question, what is your dream? And someone said, mine is very easy, five megabytes per second. People are already have it. People had that for dinner yesterday, but in Africa, that is someone's dream. Can that dream come true? Yes, it can. What are we dreaming of? We're dreaming of internet that we can afford. In some places in Africa, to get a 512K per second, you actually need to pay up to five months the average salary. So people can't do it. What are we dreaming of? We're dreaming of internet that allows us to connect to the world. We're dreaming of internet that allows us to do business like every other person. We're dreaming of an internet capacity that would allow us to go to school to do online training. We are, we're dreaming of an internet that allows us to build bridges across cultures, across people. So if you get away from here, you want to dream along with me. One of the things we do at the Web Foundation is called the Alliance for Affordable Internet. We're bringing in partners, we're bringing in governments, we're bringing in industry to bring down the causes of these nightmares so that dreams and dreams and dreams can come through. Thank you. Thank you.